there's no love in the relationship with yourself. You're not even loving with yourself. Because of your, the lens that you view God. And how you see him in your in your life. And how you've been taught. And so because there's no love there. And it's just ritual. And it's just traditions. And it's distance. You turn and you look at yourself. And you treat yourself the same way. Judgment. And then the third part I want to talk about when it comes to judgment is being in your neighborhood with your friends at school. Words were said. You thought they didn't matter, but the order you got, you found out. You held on to them a lot longer than what you anticipated. And so you believe you have coined it as truth because you done put so much emotion behind it that it feels so real. Judgment. You have to begin as a, an adult To start dismantling the things that happened in your childhood and your upbringing and your religion. And start cleansing yourself from things that are unbeneficial, that are not beneficial in your life. You have to. In order to just grow and prosper as an individual, in order to live out to your full potential in order to be productive in your business, in order to be successful in your relationships, you have to do a cleansing. You have to wrestle with yourself. In this topic of judgment, you have to begin to wrestle with yourself and dismantle what you have labeled as truth for so long And say that was just an opinion. That was just a perspective. Could there be truth to it? Maybe. Could it be absolutely wrong? Maybe. But spend time wrestling with different concepts. That now you have coined this truth. And you operate out of that truth. Start wrestling with it. And I'm a firm believer in writing things down. Because writing things down is a very productive way of getting from the present to the future. Because once it's written, you can see it as it is and look at it and say, wow. That really exists. And how could I move forward from it? Judgment. You open your eyes. It's certain rituals you do in the morning. It's certain words that you say. That you choose to make a judgment that it's right. Or wrong. Judgment. And so you might think. Oh this is an overwhelming. Activity to do. In order for me to live out my full potential. But hey. The more you tackle it. The less. It becomes. So it's not as big as you think it is. But when it's not addressed and you're operating out of it, it's as big as a mountain. And you can bring it down to as small as a paddle, pebble. But you have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. 
You have to be able to talk to yourself, spend time with yourself. And crying, I am a big advocate of crying. Because crying is very therapeutic. Crying is very beneficial. Crying is cleansing. There is some clear, there is a certain clarity that comes out of, sorry, there's a certain clarity that comes out of crying that a lot of people need to start doing. And when you start doing it, you'll find how good it feels after you cry. Crying will be a healthy step because some of the tears will be because you've gotten so upset with yourself for mistreating yourself for so long because somebody said X, Y, and Z or somebody did X, Y, and Z. judgment so I challenge you I challenge you and when you do the wrestle it's certain questions you can ask yourself certain things that you can do in order to figure out whether it's true or not. One of the key questions you can ask yourself is, is it true and accurate for me right now? The judgment that you have pronounced on your life, that you hold dear in your heart, even though it might be toxic, is this true and accurate for me right now? And if it isn't, Become your best friend and dismantle it. People always say all the time, my my best friend will ride for me. I can count on my best friend. There's no one night like my best friend. However, before another individual can be your best friend, be your own best friend to yourself. This goes under self-love. Cleansing yourself of things that's not accurate, that's not beneficial. The second question you can ask yourself, is it true sometimes? Is it true sometimes? Some, is there some validity to it? And if it is, that's even a growing process. That's a chance to grow and become better. And then when you find out if it's true sometimes, under what circumstances? Because that helps to dismantle it being all-inclusive. It's in every aspect of your life. No, it's only when you do X, Y, and Z. And so that's another question you can ask yourself in a wrestle. And then the last question you ask is, was it true in the past, but no longer? Was it true in the past? One thing about the past, you can't change it. You can assess it. You can dissect it. And both of those activities are beneficial for you. And growing as a person by asking that question, was it true in the past? It's okay to say yes, it was. Because you can only grow from it. 
And so wrestle with yourself. I challenge you to wrestle with these concepts and ideas. Contemplation is always a good activity. I've always been a fan of contemplation. Philosophy is another topic that intrigues me. And the main reason why it intrigues me is because everything can be grappled over. Everything can be speculated. Because you might find at the end of your life certain things that you thought was concrete or not and certain things that you didn't think what concrete are. And so you have to take the reins off of a rigid, confined life and pull back from labeling things as absolute truth. Because some things aren't. And you need to be able to do that. Do that not just because it's toxic. It's also doing it for the fact that you love yourself. And you want to live out your full potential. I used to hear years ago that the place that has the most potential is the burial grounds of a funeral home, of a funeral uh, plots. Where they rest bodies at? In the cemetery? That's the most unlived potential. Some people don't have a clue. Don't have a clue and it's because of certain concepts certain restraints they have put on themselves certain people that they don't entertain or certain people that they have around them so much that they don't get, get time to enjoy themselves enough to hear your inner voice and grapple over her what's true and what's not. This is critical. This is critical. You might experience a certain success, but your success will be plateaued off of the mere limitations that you have from the judgment that you put on your life. You need to speak life into yourself. It's okay to go through an experience of people making statements about who you are and what you are as a child. And you can label it and say that's what that person said. But, but this is who I am. You put a positive judgment on yourself. You begin filtering positive thoughts, beneficial thoughts that's for you and the growth of your career, your relationships, your self-love. You have to be able to process this in your life and really get down to the nitty gritty it might be uncomfortable to face certain things cause they could be so ugly however after facing them you can be so much better after dismantling the, the label of truth on it you can now label what is